When talking about Asian theropods, we often hear names like Tabosaurus or Velociraptor. These are the best known Asian theropods. In more recent times, people also learned about some more giant theropods from these lands, like Gigantoraptor or Suching Tyrannus. However, apart from giant Tyrannosaurus and many Raptorans, the world was another giant theropod, rivaling even Tabosaurus and Suching Tyrannus in size. You might call him Asia's answer to Carcharodontosaurus, or also a taxonomic mess. This was the Chilantaisaurus. Chilantaisaurus was a giant theropod measuring 11 meters or 36 feet in length and weighing around 2.5 to 4 metric tons. The fossils were found in the Ulanzuhai formation in China. Chilantaisaurus was dated to the Turonian of the Cretaceous, approximately 93.9 to 89.8 million years ago. The type species is Chilantaisaurus tachyukuensis, described by Chinese paleontologist Hu Chengxi in 1964. Chilantaisaurus means lizard of Chilantai. The species epithet Tashuikuensis comes from the place where the fossils were found, Tashuiku. Tashuiku is a village in Inner Mongolia, China. Unfortunately, Chilantaisaurus skeleton is relatively fragmentary. However, the parts that have been found of Chilantaisaurus include bones from the neck, back, hips, limbs and feet. Chilantaisaurus has a complex taxonomic history. It was originally classified as a carnosaur related to Allosaurus, but some subsequent studies suggested that it may be a Spinosauroid or a member of an alternate offshoot of neo theropods. A 2009 study found that Chilantaisaurus was a carnosaur of the family Neovenatoridae. However, a 2018 phylogenetic analysis recovered Chilantaisaurus as a primitive Solurosaurian. Several other species have been described based on very poor remains. The species Chilantaisaurus cibricus is based on a single distal metarsal discovered in Russia. It is poorly described, so its relationships cannot be accurately determined and its placement as a species of Chilantaisaurus is highly questionable. Chilantaisaurus maurtensis was reclassified as Shaochilong Maotensis in 2009. An additional species named in 1979, Chilantaisaurus tetiangensis, is actually a Ferrisinosaur taxon. For the sake of this video, however, let's go with the 2016 cladogram by Sebastian Apestegua and colleagues, which places the Chilantaisaurus tashuikuensis within the groups of Neovenatorids. New Venetorids were a subgroup of Carcharodontosaurid theropods, first appearing in the early Cretaceous 130 million years ago. This group is most famous for the New Venator from the Isle of Wight in the UK. However, even the New Venator, potentially growing up to 10 meters in length, was smaller than his Asian cousin. The New Venator also had a more grayscale build for its size. The size estimate for a 7 meter or 23 feet long New Venator is only about 1 metric ton. As mentioned earlier, Chilantaisaurus was more heavily built, yet because of the close relation still has many similar traits to New Venator. New Venatorid had large foreclaws, razor sharp teeth, powerful hind limbs and long forelimbs just like its predecessor, the Allosaurus. Even though heavier for its size in comparison to Neo Venator and Allosaurus, it still had a relatively light build for its massive size, suggesting Chilantaisaurus might have been a somewhat fast and agile predator like the former mentioned relatives. So what can we actually find out about the skull, claws and teeth judging Chilantaisaurus from its relatives Neo Venator and the Carcharodontosaurus? The skull of Chilantaisaurus could have been up to 1.5 meters or 5 feet long. The teeth of Chilantaisaurus were serrated and potentially up to 10 centimeters or 4 inches long. The foreclaws on the other hand could have been up to 15 centimeters or 6 inches long, while the other claws were smaller. The skull of Chilantaisaurus did have fenestrae which are openings in the skull. Like in other Carcharodontosaurs, these fenestrae would have been located above the eyes and behind the nostrils and were mandatory to lighten the animal's build. 
fauna from Shilanta Isaurus habitat, the Ulanzue formation includes the Ankylosaurid Gobisaurus Domoculus, the Carcharodontosaurid Chilong Mawatensis, the Pachycephalosaurid Sinocephale Bexelli, the Ornithomimid Sinonophimimus Dong and an indeterminate Iguanodontian. Looking at the size of the other dinosaurs, especially the carnivores, one would notice that none came close to the Shilantaisaurus, assuring him his place as the top predator of the Ulanzue formation of the Turonian. However, at the end of the Turonian age, approximately 89.8 million years ago, something happened, causing the Ulanzue dinosaurs to disappear from the fossil record. Along with them, also one of the largest predators to ever rule Asia, the Shilantaisaurus. That's it for the video of the Shilantaisaurus. I hope you could learn something useful or interesting. For more content about Megaraptor, you can subscribe and check out the playlist, as well as click the bell to not miss out on any further content. You can also check out Twitter or Instagram to hear my opinions on things currently going on in the dinosaur world, or just to get to know me more. And with that, I wish you a splendid day or evening. Goodbye.